Yes guys, how are you all doing? Welcome back to another video on my channel and today I am going to be breaking down the most recent tier list that I have put together for Dragon Ball Legends. Now there are a few new inclusions to this tier list such as the new Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku, uh, the Ultra one who is as you can see number one on this tier list. Then we have of course the free to play Super Saiyan Blue um, Vegeta and Goku both in S tier as you can see and we have the inclusion of the Zenkai Rose who is all the way down in A tier and we'll get into why he's there in a second um, but there is a bit of a format change to this tier list I have added one tier which is the Z plus tier um, before that would have been you know where the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta was and all that kind of stuff but I've basically decided to move up the two ultras into their own tier because they are miles better than the rest and uh, I want to talk about these two units in a bit more detail just because they are that good uh, we know what ultra gogeta does now the big debate was do i put goku ahead of him or behind him and i've put him ahead of gogeta now it might change when his boost feature in pvp does wear out but i don't think it will because this guy has incredible combo potential his unique gauge is phenomenal the fact that you can just vanish so many times and get infinite draw speed it seems like it's just ridiculous because he is just a combo monster and then he has everything just to back it up. That little thing where he does where he seals your strike cards when you come in and face him, it is so annoying and it catches you off guard so many times. I still don't have this unit but just from facing him I can tell you he is the number one unit in the game at the moment. His damage isn't as good as Ultra Gogeta's but the thing is he has like I said infinite combo potential. He can go on for ages and uh, if you time his uh, unit gauge right in terms of filling it and getting your vanish back getting the green card and all that kind of stuff then you can really uh, get the best out of this guy and then you can definitely see why he is in the number one spot uh, then like I said Ultra Gogeta we know what he does I don't really need to go into much detail about him just uh, yeah he's the easiest unit to use in the game and he is a phenomenal damage dealer very annoying to face since he does destroy your cards with the blue card and he can draw two ultimates he locks you in nullifies a uh, type disadvantage when you're down to two units for a few time account so yeah he's, he's, he does everything we all know what he does uh, let's move down into the z tier and uh, not much has changed here except for the last unit on this uh, on this tier uh, super saiyan 4 gogeta i did mention in the last video it was between him and the blue goku and vegeta that are now in s plus tier it was between those two units as to who was you know just behind ultra gogeta in the second spot and i did actually put goku and vegeta but they have fallen quite a long way and i think this uh super saiyan 4 gogeta is just gaining more and more value every time we get a new release especially a fusion warrior release or whatever but this guy is just phenomenal um, an amazing tank and he has great damage potential and his utility is phenomenal since he does nullify uh, cover change and type disadvantage with his uh, main ability and uh, yeah he just does pretty much everything you want him to do LF Freezer, we talked about him in the last video, a very, very good unit. Nullifying Endurance, um, basically just for existing, is ridiculous. Pairs up really nicely alongside um, LF Jiren, and uh, he's also on, in my opinion, one of the best teams in the game, LOE. Uh, so yeah, that's why he is in that number four spot. Jiren is, um, you know, just moved down a little bit. He was in fourth, he is now fifth, basically swapped places with Freezer. I think just because of the fact that Ultra Goku is... Um, basically you know the best unit in the game and he's yellow but he does fit really nicely alongside this Jiren together they are one of the best duos in the game and this Jiren is just going to gain value um, as time goes on like I have told you guys many times so yeah he's not going to move from the Z tier and you know anytime soon let's just uh, keep an eye on that but I really do think that he is just going to keep gaining value then we have the future Gohan again a fantastic unit keeps his place he actually moves up into the z tier um he was in s plus tier i think at the you know top spot of s plus he has moved up just because he's you know his value just keeps going up and up and up and up just because the support he gives to the future team is phenomenal um and his cover change is one of the most annoying in the game as well and then this guy is where i got it completely wrong <laughs> in the last um video this guy is such a monster. This guy is the only unit, and I'm talking about the, the Vegeta, of course, the Zenkai Vegeta. He is the only unit in the game that has the potential to take out a unit like Ultra Gogeta in one card. You are using a unit, they you know come in with Gogeta, you swap into this guy, you use a card, 
and then you use the ultimate and it is good by Ultra Gogeta. This guy stacks damage like I've never seen a unit do it before. His stats are off the charts and that's what makes this guy so good. He might not have endurance nullification or uh, cover change nullification but his raw damage and the fact that he is really tanky as well because of his stats is just phenomenal and that is why he is in Z tier. I apologize to him because I really did do him dirty in the last tier list breakdown. Uh, then we have Trunks, we all know what he does, and then Goku and Vegeta. They have moved down a lot just because I don't really, you know, I'm not scared of them like I used to be in PvP. Um, they don't hit as hard and they don't really um, tank as well as they used to now that they don't have the boost feature in PvP and I just don't feel like they're on and on the best teams in the game. I think the best teams right now are God Key, where they don't really have much of a spot because I do think that the Vegeta and the Ultra Goku are the best units, maybe alongside someone like a Vados or even Jiren in the um, uh, in the leader slot, or even using the Ultra Gogeta alongside the Ultra Goku and then uh, the uh, the Zenkai Vegeta or even Gogeta Super Saiyan 4. So I don't really think they are the best uh, you know option on any of their teams at the moment. So that's why they are down in S plus tier. Still a phenomenal unit individually, but just not what they used to be. Then we have Revival Freezer, very very good unit on one of the best teams in the game like I said LOE then Zenkai Vegito and then Hakai Beerus so that really hasn't changed much and then as we move down the only changes there are in the S plus tier is that we have taken down the other world Zenkai Goku and also Revival Gohan and we have put Oob uh, as the last spot in S plus tier so yeah pretty straightforward there you know Oob has the best green card in the game I, I think still to this day um, and I just don't think Otherworld Goku and Revival Gohan are used enough to really be put in S plus tier at the moment. Bardock, we all know what he does. And uh, then we move on along a little bit. And then we have the, the free to play Vegeta, who is a very, very good unit. Um, his damage is ridiculous. His combo potential is really nice. Uh, and he does fit well alongside the, the new Ultra Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku. And then as we move down a little bit, we have the free to play Goku, who is a very, very good unit, has a a really good utility on God Key, um, and he is a very good tank uh, on that team. Uh, Nullifies type disadvantage for 40 counts, which is really good with Ultra Gogeta running around, and he's a very, very good option on that team. I don't think I would use him, to be honest, because I don't think you really need a red on God Key right now. Um, I don't think he's the optimal unit to run, but he is still a very, very good option. Uh, and then we have the LF Bardock, who does move up to S tier. Uh, Cell moves up quite a lot, so does Vardos. Now that we have the, you know, addition of the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku, she is a great partner to that Goku. Uh, uh, Gogeta Blue has also moved up, Ape Vegeta has moved up, and then as we move down, we have the Zenkai Rose a bit further down in A tier. And this guy is the most underwhelming Zenkai I have seen in a long, long time. I Honestly, looking at this now, I think you could probably run Merge Zamasu, Zenkai buffing him with this guy, and he'd probably be better than this Rosé. This Rosé is really, really, really underwhelming. He doesn't do much damage, he doesn't tank very well, he doesn't support much, he just doesn't do anything. He's just a mid-unit, and uh, it's really sad, especially coming from me. Um, yeah, I really wanted this guy to be great, but he just isn't, so... Yeah, it's a bit of a shame. It's a bit of a shame to see him there. And uh, yeah, as we move down, not really much has changed. Merge Zamasu has moved up a little bit. Um, so has the uh, the Red Freezer from the Broly movie. Vardos, like I said, has moved up quite a lot. Kale has gone down a lot. And uh, yeah, a few units that have been removed from the tier list are the Zenkai Kaba and the UI Goku, the LF1, who is pretty woeful right now. So yeah, this is the tier list, guys. Let me know what you think of it down below. Let me know what you would change. I think it's pretty accurate, but of course, there's always going to be some debate as to whether um, some units should be higher or lower. But overall, I don't think I did a pretty bad job just because uh, there are a lot of units that are viable in PvP right now and a lot of teams running around, really, although some are better than others. Like I said, Fusions, God Key and LOE right now are the best teams. But like I said, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, subscribe if you are new around here for more Dragon Ball Legends content, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.